Hello everyone, um, Kuringa here, and I hope you enjoyed our last video. And now we are launching our first series about Flutter Modular, right? And in this video, we'll learn about the routing system of the modular. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. For example, how uh, I said in the last video, we have that module, right? That module is our main module. And inside of this, we have the login module and the room module. Okay, let's understand how are the routings. So when we have the modular dot in each route is it's equal this only slash, right? Then for example, if I refresh the application here, and okay, this is our first route the login modular our first route and you can see here the login page right when we click in the login module we see the first route here too only the slash are pointing to our login page right then for example we access this and we access directly this one the login page now how we can navigate through the modules so for example Okay, let's go to the login page. We have two ways to navigate in the modular, right? For example, when we use the navigate, for example here, when we use the navigate pointing to slash brom, we are say, uh, saying to modular, hey modular, access roads and looking for this, this the rom the rom road. Then for example, we have the rom, and this, this, Wrote our points to our, to our module, and this module are the row module, the row module, right? And the initial road here is point to row page. Then, for example, let's understand two things here. Okay, I click here and I go to our row page, right? Now, let's understand two things here. When we use the navigate, we clean all the stack. For example, if we are inside the logging and use the navigate to slash rom, we clean all the stack, then we go from the zero to slash rom, right? Then for example, when I enter here, we don't have the back button because we clean the, the stack, right? How you can see here inside this debug console, for example, we have initialized two modules. The app module is the main module, right? The father module, and the second module, it's the login module. So when we click here, we get this message inside. The row module was initialized and the login module was disposed. Because of, because of this, we can't, right? We can't go back. So let's understand what is, what meaning this disposed. For example, let's do, the, do this again. When you click, then the login module was disposed, right? What what does this mean? Let's go to the login module and here. Every module have their own binds, right? For example, the, the login module has the login store as a single tone, right? And then when we dispose the module, everything inside the binds are disposed to. So the entire module are disposed, the all binds and all module, right? So let's understand this better. Let's try now using only the push name. So for example, how I said, we have two ways of navigate, right? And the first is this, this clean all the stack. And the second is this, a push name it. This, using this way, we, don't clean the stack, right? We just use uh, the same stack. Then for example, we call the push name and the row module here was initialized, right? But the login module was not supposed because we don't clean the st all the stack, right? And when we go back here, the row module was disposed and everything inside the row module was disposed to every bind, right? And this is our this is is the way that the flutter module works with routing and the modules 
So, okay.